One of the things that separates uh, Six Sigma from the old TQM world is measuring things in parts per million. And so one of those calculations is DPMO, or defects per million opportunities, and also rolled throughput yield. To calculate DPMO, we need to know the opportunities for a defect, and we need to know the number of defects. And simply we can take that, and you can see here our formula, we're going to divide uh, defects by opportunities, multiply that times a million, and that gives us 96,000 defects per million opportunities. Now if we take that and divide it by 10,000, that will give us our percent defects. If we subtract that from 100, that will give us our percent yield, and then we can calculate sigma as a result of that and um, defects per million units. Obviously at 2.8 sigma we're not doing all that well, all right? Now, so that's how easy it is to calculate DPMO. And in the QI macros, this is actually uh, out here under our planning tools, the DPMO calculator. Now, if you want to do rolled throughput yield, what we need to do is look at defects by step here, all right? So we're going to put our process step in here, the number of defects found, the number of units produced, and the number of opportunities for a defect in this step. And so there might be a lot of opportunities, and so that's going to drop our values a bit. Uh, so each step we'd go in and put in, well, we found 15, and maybe we had uh, 300 and, uh, and what, 6 left. And so we dropped out, but there was 15 opportunities for a, a, a failure. And as it does that, you'll notice it's figuring out its rolled throughput yield. And so we may start very high, but as we, as all these defects fall out of here, you're going to find out that this number at the very bottom starts to get kind of small. right? So if we had another one, and we had, uh, let's say, 13 here, and we had um, uh, 295 units that came through there, and we had uh, uh, six opportunities uh, per unit for a defect. You can see we continue to keep dropping down here. And so this is the way we calculate rolled throughput yield, all right? And it'll continue to work its way through here to come up with uh, answers about how much stuff is actually making it through the pipeline. And when you count all the defects along the way, you find that rolled throughput yield sometimes can drop down into the teens. And so that's probably not very good. But that's defect per million opportunities. Pretty simple calculation, rolled throughput yield using the QI macros. And again, you can find that on our planning toolbar. And um, just click on the rolled throughput yield or DPMO calculator and up it'll come. Download a 30-day trial of the QI macros from qimacros.com.